In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the multiple select element in WeWeb. So the first thing you'll want to do is go to your add menu and to add an element, you know, you might type in multi-select to find it easily and just drag and drop it on your page. And as soon as you drag and drop this on your page, you will be able to see in your navigator in the variables in the components variables, you will have this new variable called input multi select current selection. So if you go into preview mode, for example, and we select option one, uh, it will fill out uh, this information. And let's select both the second option, and it will find uh, it will put this value. Now, this value will actually match in the settings. The value here. So in the settings you can set a label. Here we have option one, option dash one, and option dash two, which you can see here, which matches the labels here and here. But the values we have option and option two, which match the values that we have in the variable. So keep in mind that the label and the value of the variable may be different. You decide. Now in your settings, you can also uh, decide to allow the user to create an option or not. Uh, if you allow them, then if we put this on in preview mode, if I type in option three, I can actually create it by pressing enter as a user. Um, so you may want to do that. You may want to disable it. Uh, let's disable it for now. You can make the, um, the option searchable. So in preview mode again, if I type in, uh, so let's just get rid of all this. If I type in one, it will search, you know, it will uh, give me the option where there's a one included or two included. So you can make the um, option searchable or not, you decide. Um, and you can add a placeholder. Um, and there you have it. Now, something else you can do is you can actually bind to a list. So instead of adding an option manually, uh, let's say option four, um, you can actually bind these options to a list. So let's do it here. What we'll do is we'll bind to a list of tags. We have new feature, new integration, and improvements. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead here and bind it to our collection of request types. And now you see here I have new feature, new integration, and improvement. And you see here the name, uh, new feature. In my notes, I have an hexadecimal um, color. Uh, so let me just bind the label field and the value field to the name, like this. And then my background color field, I'm going to bind it to my notes here, which is um, we have here. So now if I go into preview mode, I'll have my three options here, new feature, new integration, improvement, and the one that I just created. And you see that the colors, the background colors match um, these right here. So if, if you note know that if you wanted to, um, you know, here we bound uh, the background color field. Uh, to a field in our collection, but you could also style uh, your um, your elements here. So if we go into preview mode, let's say I select new feature, um, you can actually also style you know the text size. Um, you could make the width of the um, drop down fifty percent instead of a hundred percent, or let's say. 30% make it smaller. Uh, you could change the default text color uh, to um, orange, for example, or you know, you, you can do, uh, you can change uh, the style of your drop down here as well. Now, once you've, um, once you've styled um, the, um, the multi select as you, as you like, and once you have the right options, um, in order to actually, uh, you might want to use it as a filter for a collection. So in our case here, what we'll do, uh, let's select the new features and let me get rid of this horrible style that I, uh, that I just, yeah, that I just changed. Okay, so let's select new features 
and uh, what we want to do here is we want to filter this collection um, so this is our list of uh, tickets under review we can add a filter where uh, the condition is where the uh, type contains our variable from the multi-select and let's um, it can be it might be because it's a list um, we might want to add a condition where it's you know it contains one of the three so and sometimes this will be undefined if there's only uh, one selected uh, they may you know um, you, you can set this up as in, in different ways this is such as the way I've chosen to do it but you don't have to um, to do it this way and uh, what's important is you would only apply this condition group if um, if this length was superior to zero so if you actually had something as a, your input select and now if I close this if I go into preview mode um, there's you know the data is not filtered uh, because I haven't selected an option but if I select new integration uh, it will you know, it will show me only the new integration. If I select improvement, it will show me nothing. Uh, if I select new feature, it will show me new feature. Uh, you get the idea, and um, that's how the multiple select works in FreeWeb.